Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Oha Kate, I'm a composer, and today we are going to be checking out Sixth Magnitude Star by Jejun and Junsu. This was a request by my patron Dragon of the West, thank you so much. If you'd also like to become a patron or purchase a reaction from the shop, the links are in the description. I was provided a little bit of context on this song. It was recorded for an OST for a Japanese drama called Bad Woman. And the lyrics are about cheering on those who are giving their best efforts in their lives. Sounds very wholesome, very cute. We are going to be uh, doing a lyrical analysis after we listen. So it's nice to have a little bit of an indication as to what the lyrics are about. Let's check it out. Bit of tuning. Interesting how this is labeled the official music video, but it seems to be a live in studio performance and they they included the sound check and everything. Interesting. キラリ光る星の美しさに思わず外目を逸らしてしまった人だ目も悪くはないのでしょう理不尽なこの世界開けない夜あの人みたいに生きる誰にも見えない物に独特の正義だったとしてもこれが運命だなんて言いたくないんだ暗闇の中で光れ誰かを照らせるように溺れそうな涙をこらえて私は生きてる Okay, I think this is the first time I've reacted to a more recent performance of Jejun's. Um, I think every live performance I've reacted to of him is like from before 2010. Well, first of all, they both look great. They both haven't aged. Jejun's voice, though, I, I, I am noticing a slight difference in it. And it's hard for me to pinpoint that difference. Just the tone is slightly is slightly altered. It's not even deeper, but it, it has changed naturally. And the way it's changed has brought it closer to Junsu's tone. And when he first started singing, I actually mistook him for Junsu. And I was confused because I was hearing Junsu's voice, what I thought was Junsu's voice, but I could watch Jejun singing. So their tones have become even more similar over time. As for the vocal performances themselves, they're fairly competent and they both sound great. I think that the vocal melodies themselves are not really standing out to me. What is standing out to me about these vocal melodies and lyrics is that the vocal lines are very wordy. There's a lot of words being sung, a lot of words to fit into the bars like da 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 you know and it's it, it's not rapping of course but it's sort of it's getting there and uh it's hard to make a performance feel really tight when there's so much uh going on vocally there and you're trying to fit in so much lyrics i think the songwriters here prioritized the lyrics a little bit rather than developing vocal lines that are more natural to sing because it's hard to enjoy a, re a full resonant tone with 
such short notes being sung. So my favorite part of this song is not actually the vocals, it is the instrumental. <laughs> I love the violins, I love the guitar, the electric guitar, and I love the piano. There was a cool little uh, pianic, <laughs> if that's a word, a moment there before the first chorus. And I see this is most replayed here, so um, the whole the whole video is most replayed. Never mind, that must be some sort of weird bug, but. Let's go back to the the chorus there, the very beginning of the chorus. That little on the piano. Love that touch. That was just gorgeous. I do actually really like the delicateness of Jonsu's delivery here. Yeah, like th th that flowing melody seems a bit more reasonable for a vocalist to do. I love that little piano part. Let's let's hear the chorus again. Yeah, there are some nice moments, such as that little falsetto note in the chorus. That is nice, but overall, uh, you can see it's a very busy chorus, very wordy. And uh, like personally, I think it could have had more impact if they could just, if the lyricist could have been less insistent about all these words and just let their voices resonate a bit more on some longer notes. That would have been lovely. <laughs> Again with the instrumental, I love this electric guitar melody paired with the strings, really lovely. I also quite like the organ. The organ is a nice touch. There's something restrained about Jae Jung's performance here that I can't put my finger on. It's possible that he's a little tired, or I'm just not used to the way his voice has developed over the years. He seems a bit more concerned, is the word that's coming to mind, about his performance than Jun Su, who seems a bit more relaxed. And it's not a bad performance at all. Uh, it's quite nice, actually. But um, the, the, his facial expression doesn't seem to match the levity of the song, if that makes sense. Again, his vocals are a little bit more restrained. I feel like he could let loose a little more and sound a bit more free somehow, if that makes sense.
Oh, that was a beautiful and pretty harmony there. Lovely stuff. That that harmony at the very end was actually my favorite vocal highlight of the whole performance. <laughs> that sounded just beautiful. I really liked it. Yeah, and I have to say I love the instrumental of this song. I love the string arrangement, the string melodies. So elaborate, but really expressive composition. A lovely uplifting atmosphere overall. The song itself, I've sort of covered my thoughts on it. Just an over overly busy vocal melodies. I, I, yeah, and I'm just wondering a little bit about the difference in energy and vocal confidence between these two. John Su again, he seems a bit more at home. And Jae Jung looks like he's he's up here and he's like thinking a lot. Um that could just be me. I am actually very used to Jae Jung having quite a boundless voice where he like soars up into his mixed range and does some very high belting and stuff. And uh, I do understand that this is many years later and his voice has changed and perhaps his, his range has dipped a little bit. But even at that, uh, it's not all about range. It's also about being comfortable and enjoying yourself on stage. And I didn't get that from him here. And, and, and I don't mean to compare them necessarily and say Jun is better and Jae Jung isn't as good. The, it's just, maybe it's just happened to be the that particular day for Jae Jung. I guess just, you know, since they're, they're singing the same song, you would expect the same energy from both to be brought to it. But I, I really enjoyed the overall feeling I got from this song. Again, definitely uplifting. I have a feeling once I, I read the lyrics, it's going to make a lot of sense. The beauty of the twinkling stars made me unconsciously look away quietly. I'm sure no one's to blame. An unreasonable world, a dawnless night. I wish I could live like them. How many times have I said that? Even if it was a frail, sixth magnitude star no one can see, I don't want to say that this is fate. Shine in the darkness so you can shine on someone. I'm alive, holding back tears, about to spill over. Yeah, so I had to look up what a sixth magnitude star is. And it is the, the faintest star that can be seen with the naked eye in a dark sky. The purpose of that metaphor really is to say that no matter how low you're feeling, they're encouraging you to still shine on someone, brighten someone's day, brighten your own day. The beauty of the twinkling stars made me unconsciously look away. It's like, you know, don't worry what other people are doing. Your own light matters and you can conquer the dawnless night. And I love that message. That's very nice. A gently staring wind blows through, and I hid my scars that haven't yet healed. Invisible rules, we just decide arbitrarily. Righteousness isn't enough to live well. A soundless voice screamed that it can't end like this. I pray I don't lose the feelings no one can steal. I grasped them tightly with these trembling hands. Shine in the darkness so you can shine on someone. It's all right. I'm alive telling myself that. I really like these lyrics. They're beautifully written, and I can see how the lyricist would have been reluctant, shall we say, to forego some of these words, since some of these lines are very beautifully written. It's very apparent that the lyrics were prioritized in the writing of this song. Like the line, invisible rules we just decide arbitrarily. It's very wordy. Yes, I can understand what it means. I feel like there could have been a more succinct way to get that idea across. I know this is a translation in English, but it's a complex idea and, and, and I guess it's likely that in Japanese it takes a few syllables to get that idea out too. Next few lines. Where is my sense of self? I don't know even now, but I'm frail and no one can see me. But what I can be proud of is knowing pain more than anyone else. Shining in the darkness, I'll become light and telling myself it'll be all right, I'll live on, I'll live on. The twinkling stars are far away, very soon this night will break. There you go, that's the happy ending. These lyrics did surprise me a little bit because they do highlight the downtroddenness of how a lot of people feel, um, as opposed to just encouraging people to give their best efforts in life. Uh, it does highlight a lot of more negative feelings, more negative thoughts, because the music is so, it's so uplifting that I thought it would just be positive words in the lyrics but it, it is cool to see some depth here and i think the lyrics are, are just beautiful <laughs> somewhat at the expense of the vocal melodies but that was the decision and i'm sure this song is very well loved widely obviously since it got requested yep that about wraps up my analysis of sixth magnitude star by junsu and jeju let me know what other music you'd like me to check out again feel free to check out my patreon and my shop the links are in the description 
please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks so much and take care.